Hello everyone! Welcome to MGDC Kitchen. Today, we are going to make spring roll or lumpia in Filipino. Let's start cooking! The ingredients are listed in the description box below. First, saute onions and garlic. Then add ground pork or chicken. Add chicken cubes or pork cubes. Okay. <laughs> add black and white pepper. I don't know why I like black and white pepper together. Add the chopped potatoes. Mix it properly, cover it, and let it cook for 7 to 10 minutes. When the chicken and potatoes are cooked, add the rest of your vegetables. Let it cook for another 2 minutes. When it's cooked, taste it and set it aside. Now let's make the sauce. Add 2 cups of water, cornstarch, sugar,
and vinegar. Mix all of these ingredients in a bowl. Then bring it to a boil on the stove. Stir it constantly to avoid lumps until it thickens. When it thickens, add 2 tablespoons of ketchup. For me, I like to use a sweet one. You could also use a sour kind so that it will give a tangy flavor. I have never tried it, so let me know in the comments down below how it tastes. The secret of my spring roll is in my simple sauce. You can also make it spicy, but I prefer it sweet. Divide your sauce in two parts. One is your dipping sauce, and the other one will be the paste for sealing the spring rolls. Add one tablespoon of ketchup to the dipping sauce for extra flavor. <laughs> Let's start wrapping the spring roll. Separate the wrapper at room temperature one by one. Take one wrapper at a time. Put one spoon of the mixture. Fold it. And press the sides gently to give it shape. Put the sauce and roll it until it is sealed. I will show you it to you one more time. Repeat the process until it's done. Here are three tips to follow when wrapping spring rolls. Number one, put only one spoon of the mixture or less so it can seal properly. Two, make sure not to apply too much of the paste or the wrapper will become mushy. Three, tighten your rolls so that oil may not have space to enter the lumpia and be gentle since the wrapper can easily tear.
When you have leftover mixture, you can still keep it or you can just simply eat it with rice. I have friends who will eat it with rice like Amana, my sister in Ghana, Africa. Hi CC, thank you for watching my videos. Shout out to Amanda as well and to Jenra Cruz, my friend who requested this recipe. Now we are done wrapping, let's fry it. Check your oil if it's ready. Now you can fry your spring roll. Don't overcrowd your pan so you can turn it easily. When it's getting brown, turn your spring roll. Here are two tips for frying the spring rolls. Number one, make sure when you fry, do not make the oil too hot because it will just burn your spring rolls. No one likes to eat burnt spring rolls, do you? Number two, if your family will like this recipe, you can make more and keep it in your freezer. So whenever your family want to eat spring rolls, you can just fry it for five minutes. You can keep this for 10 to 14 days inside your freezer. This is what my mama does. Crunchy and tasty. Enjoy. Let's try one. 